Hey everyone, a little bit of a mini project here. It's a little mini fridge in front of me that I picked up off the curb and it does not work. I'm thinking it's either the thermostat, which is right here on the other side, or it's something in this control board. But I don't really care about the 110 volt side. I want to see if I can run this thing off of 12 volts as soon as I try it without the uh, thermostat connected. This has one of those, uh, it's like a block in here that uh, you, if you hook it up positive to negative, gets cold if you hook up negative to positive it gets hot then it has the fan that blows the air over and it cools the fridge so there's no compressor and that's how this thing works it's similar to those uh, 12 volt coolers you can get for in your car if you go camping but it's in a refrigerator and it has the cooling fan to help keep it much more cool it's not for built-in applications which is fine by me what I'd like to do is put this in my shop and run it off of 12 volts and run it off my battery bank which would be perfect because then I got an off-grid fridge so I already got an off-grid stereo system in there and I'd love to have an off-grid fridge so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to first try it right now with the uh, thermostat disconnected and see if the thermostat was causing the issues the only thing is um, if I run it uh, just straight off 12 volts I don't know how cold this thing is going to get it might freeze it might not for water, having water freeze, it's not a huge deal, but if I put pop or, or beer in here, I don't really want stuff like that freezing. And yes, I do occasionally drink beer. I, a six pack will last me a, a year. That just shows you how much I drink. So I'll have to do some testing uh, with my uh, digital thermometer, see how cold this thing actually gets running straight out on 12 volts. I got lots of 12 volt batteries to uh, try this thing out on. So first off, I'm going to do is um, the 110 volt side is still connected. Uh, up here to the uh, power transformer, uh, power board, whatever you really want to call this, inverter board. I might go online and see if I can get a replacement board, but like I said, I'd rather be able to run this thing off of 12 volts to begin with. So I'm going to see if I can run it off of 12 volts first, or it could even be the cooling coil in there that's no good. But this is a curbside find, so it's not a huge deal if it does not work. But the to me, the capacitors all look okay. Nothing's really overly bulged or anything like that this thing didn't sit out in the elements very long i picked it up on wednesday so i think that the trash man it was trash day when i picked it up i think trash men didn't want to touch it because they probably thought it had a compressor in there and it doesn't but unfortunately i got another fridge in the back but they ripped the door off of it and imagine that one works i haven't i haven't even plugged it in but my guess is it does work but no door can't really work a refrigerator without a door so I'm going to hook up some 12, uh, so hook up 110 volts to this, see if this thing comes on without the thermostat connected. If it doesn't, I'm going to cut these wires right up here, and we'll get a 12 volt source, and we're going to try the, uh, just the fan, and the element, I don't know what you'd want to call these things. Uh, I remember YouTube user Dan Alpat used something similar to this for a redneck uh, computer cooler. Um, he put one of these these into a uh, bucket of water and ran a water jacket through his computer to keep his computer cold. So they do work pretty good, but since there's no thermostat, I don't know how cold it's going to get. So I'll have to wait and see and uh, hopefully it doesn't freeze. Okay, we got an extension cord now. Emily's holding the camera. And uh, let's just see if this thing will do anything. Nope. 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 Most likely, like I was saying before, control board's probably dead. That's my camera. Yeah. I might try and see if I can get anything out of this. Since I've disconnected everything off of here, most likely this board is dead. But all I think it's doing is converting 110 volts AC 12 volt DC because that's what this fan is as far as I know I'll take a look at it clean some of the dust off see if there's a voltage reading on here and I imagine this coil is only 12 volts so my next step will be I'm going to grab a 12 volt battery set jumper cables snip some of these wires and we'll put 12 volts to it and see if we uh, see if we can get this thing to cool I'll grab my uh, infrared thermometer and uh, we'll see what happens Okay, I've done one quick check. The fan does in fact work off of 12 volts. 
yes that battery believe it or not is still good uh, shows you the quality of an AC Delco battery the guy I got it from says it didn't set out all winter but I'm pretty darn sure it set out all winter uh, I stuck it in my uh, blazer last weekend to use it as a boosting point and the blazer started dinging so I was thinking okay this battery still has juice in it I charged it up uh, it took three days to charge it but uh, it seems to still be working so just shows you the quality of an AC Delco battery but anyways I checked the polarity on the fan the fan will only spin one way so I do have it connected correctly so I'm using uh, just a blue wire here a speaker wire actually this came with my uh, amp wiring harness so I got my uh, positive on the right negatives on my left I believe Sorry, negatives on the right, positive is on the left. I just checked it. But um, just getting ready to connect it up and see if this little uh, block in here will start getting cold. I need to go grab my infrared, infrared thermometer to see if it does, in fact, get cold. Uh, as far as I know how this works, it will just push the air across the fan. The fan will push the air across the coil, and the coil cools the fridge. So this will only be on when I'm outside it's not like it's gonna be left on all the time so I'll have a separate uh, a switch and a fuse to run this and I'm gonna be using a little bit better wire than this wire right here um, it's just all temporary okay got my infrared thermometer it's just a cheapy power fist from uh, Princess Auto but it does work hopefully you can there you go 32 Celsius I use Celsius because it's so much easier than Fahrenheit. Just my liking. So I have not put power to the coil yet. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm going to pass the camera off to my assistant. Right there, yep. Thank you. Whoa, you're not afraid. Nope, the fridge has to be, not me. Okay. I think it's in green now. Fan spinning. Here's the bug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I may have to turn this around so I can see yep, where it's losing connection. Only I don't like about side post batteries. There we go. I can feel cold air coming off of that. Feel nothing on the block as of yet, but nothing's getting hot. The wire's not getting hot, so it's not drawing too many amps. And it's gone down to 28.4, so it actually is getting colder. So I'm going to readjust this. I'm going to turn it around and see if we're actually getting uh, cold air in the fridge or not. And what we'll do is uh, we'll come back later on and we'll let this run for a little while. I don't know how long this battery is going to hold up. Pretty much I got this battery for a bag of cat food. I needed a bag of cat food and he gave me the battery. So I only got $5 invested in this battery and it's worth $10 at the scrapyard. So not a huge deal. But if I have to get another battery, I got lots of them. Let's see if that's getting any colder. 28.6, 28.8 now, it's going up. It's going down again. That's pointing at the wrong spot. Let's try going right at the coil. No, top of the coil, unless we're in heat mode. It's like I'm, I'm thinking uh, if you hook these up backwards, they'll produce heat. If you hook them up the correct way, they'll produce cold air. So we might be we might be making heat. That does feel kind of warm. So I'm gonna just turn it around and uh, we'll get back to it. Okay, this is the uh, inside of the fridge, and I just did a temperature reading back there at the fan, and we are cooler. So what I'm going to do is close the door, let this run for a little while 
and uh, we're gonna go from there. And I'll get I'll get back to this video later on today after this runs for a little while. Emily's just checking out the fridge. There's no freezer. It's just a this is a uh, fridge. Oh. Yeah. So and as a, as I was mentioning before, the thermostat controls are completely disconnected. I can actually feel cool air coming out of this. I can go. 27.4. Oh. So, or sorry, 27.3 now. It was 27.4. It's going between, it's going between a few different temperatures. Now it's up, up to 27.6. So let's close this door and uh, let's see what's going to happen. See if it's going to get cool or not. So I guess, uh, stay tuned. Okay, I just made a discovery on this little refrigerator. There's an internal fan that I don't have power to, but the coil is working. 0.5 Celsius. So the inside coil is definitely working. It is definitely cold to the touch. And uh, it's not getting cold in the actual refrigerator. It's getting a little bit cold in here, but it's not getting cold enough because this little internal fan is not working. So I'm gonna go around to the back side again, find the uh, wires for that, and I'm gonna hook them up. And we're gonna see what happens. Okay, now I'm back to the back side of it again. I was looking at the uh, other set of wires. There's actually three of them. There's two reds and one black. So there's obviously two powers and one ground. I'm not 100% sure what's going on here, so what I'm going to do is hook up the black to black, and I'm just going to try the red, try one of the reds to see if the fan comes on, then we'll try the other red and uh, see, if, see if it comes on. Um, obviously, process, process of elimination. I don't really want to disturb the insulation on here, because if everything is working correctly in this refrigerator, like all the insulation, I don't want to disturb it and uh, mess it up. I'm thinking there could be a light in there. That's why it has two red wires. But I don't think something like this would have a, have a light. It's so small, why would you want a light in there? So I'm going to get back to you and uh, we'll see what's going on here. Okay, let's try the inter inside fan. And it works. What I did was I hooked up uh, both red wires. Don't know what either of them do. I know one provides power to the fan, one's providing power to somewhere else in the refrigerator. But I hooked up both of them. I may, uh, when I do the final installation, figure out which one is in fact running just a fan and uh, we'll go with it like that. So I'm gonna put this back up in its housing, make sure it is blowing outwards, because this one could be a reverse polarity fan. Uh, basically, like I said before, uh, Positive, positive to positive, negative, negative, blows it one way, negative to positive, uh, positive, negative, will blow it the opposite way. So let's uh, put this back in and uh, let's see if this thing's going to start getting cold. At least colder than it was getting.